Hello, welcome to JavaScript tutorial, chapter 23, JavaScript Arguments Object, part 2, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about the JavaScript Argument Object. So, the Arguments Object is available only inside a function body. Attempting to access the Argument Object outside a function result in Arguments is undefined error. So, what do you mean by this? So, let me jump to my Visual Studio code and let me show you a demo of this. Here we have a simple function called show message and here I have an alert within the function body so it's having a string telling like hello and apart from that it's having argument object with the index also so what this is going to return is going to return the value present in the zeroth index okay and also it is going to return the value present in the first index so they are Brendan in the zeroth and Eck in the first place so it's going to when I execute this function it's going to print like hello Brendan Eck so let me show you a demo of this so let me put this page to the browser and here is my HTML page and here we get the output like hello Brendan Eck so this is what we learned in the last session but what if I try to access only the value present in the index 2 so I need to tell like arguments of 1 so now what I'm trying to access the value present in the first index that is ek so does this works yes it's gonna work and we got the output ek but but what if I try to access this outside this function body do I get the output okay so let me go back here and so before that what I need to do is I need to place just below this function so let me go back and let me refresh here we get hello Brendan neck but we will not get the second alert why because let me inspect here and let me show you it the error so the error is something like okay argument is not defined so here is a reason for that argument object is available only inside a function body so this argument object is available only within this function body not outside that function body that's the reason we are getting a undefined error I hope you understood the meaning of this sentence okay coming to the second sentence we can index the argument object like an array but it is not an array that's the reason we are indexing the argument object like an array but exactly it is not argument object is not an array okay and it does not have any array properties except length so if I need to get the number of values present in the argument object I can make use of length property which is all which array is also having but in no, but they are not similar array and argument object are not similar except they have only a common property called length but keep in mind we can convert the argument object to an array so how do I do that here is uh, here I'm having a piece of code so what I'll do is let me go back to my uh, web page sorry which is clear code and let me show you how do I do that so my objective is to convert argument object to an array so let me take variable array equals document so I need to call uh, array dot prototype dot slice method and then I need to call to this call I need to pass keep in mind I need to pass arguments okay keep in mind this piece of code what I have written right now is going to convert okay an ob argument object into an array okay you can observe here so what I need to do is since it is going to come this piece of code is going to convert argument object into an array so array is having a method so let me tell you what is the method I'm going to use I'm going to use a method called sort what the sort method is going to do let me show you right now document dot right so to this right let me pass this variable so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pass 90 comma 50 comma 40 so this sort method is going to sort it in the order so let me go back and let me refresh here we get like 40 50 and 90 but I'm passing it in this manner that is 90 50 and 40 it's sorting and it's giving us a result in this format in the sense argument object is converted into an array so that's the reason we can make use of the sort method and we can convert we can sort the things which are passed to that object argument object and apart from that we can convert the JavaScript argument object in, in another manner also and here is the code for that you can convert argument object to an array using array literals so here is the code what I need to do is I need to just change a uh, few things okay 
that's that's all okay now we are converting a, J a javascript argument object into an array with the help of array literal so let me go back and let me refresh okay and you can observe and this still works fine so we have two ways one is the normal way of converting it uh, argument object to an array with the help of these things array prototype slice and call method and other way is with the help of array literal okay i hope you understood like how can we convert a argument object into an array and we understood some of the key points related to argument object so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel langpro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day